Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again with another set modification video for you guys. This is the Snoke's throne room set from summer 2018 from the Star Wars The Last Jedi movie. Now the actual Snoke's throne room set was pretty decent. As you can see, I didn't change like the main structure of it at all, but it was missing like the giant red like curtains that he had all around his throne room in the movie. And that's what really made for the most striking appearance. So I found a way to just add a little bit of it to give you the idea of it right behind his throne. Now this isn't going to be like the astronomy tower modification where it's a quick and easy thing and I show you guys and like walk you through all of the process on how to modify it. I'm just gonna be showing you guys quickly what I did and kind of give you a suggestion on how to do it yourself. All right, I apologize for like the set being a little bit dusty. It's been on display for a couple of years, you know, ever since I got it. I'm also missing Rey and Kylo Ren because I took them to school with me. And so I forgot to bring them back. So they are in this, um, in this display. I also am missing two of the Praetorian Guards because I also purchased those at school. But basically all I did was build this giant wall back here behind the throne. And you can see it comes off extremely easily. So the way, I'll show you the wall separately in a second, but the way that I built it is down here at the base, if I adjust the camera a little bit. So at the base of Snoke's throne, I just built in a couple of hinge plates. So you can see these hinge plates right here. It's really basic. It's not very strong. It's a little bit of a weak connection, but the way that I did it is I just built in those hinge plates. It was pretty easy from what I remember. And then you can just position your wall directly onto those plates. Again, it is a little bit weak. It'll probably be better if you have bricks underneath to like kind of give it some more support. But the reason why I did that is because then you can still use the play feature in front of Snoke's throne room, which like pulls Ray closer to him. All right, as for the wall itself, this is the look of it from the back, just so you guys can kind of get an idea of how I assembled it. Just using, you know, big gray pieces. It only has a one stud thickness. I like used some different pieces in here just to give it a little bit of a design, but you could definitely just make that solid if you want. I just thought that that was a bit of a cool design. And then the cloth piece that I used is the Praetorian Guard skirt because it's the largest like plain red cloth piece that LEGO has ever used. And it drapes in a really nice way. So you can see that it's cut in like three different sections because obviously it was a skirt made to wrap around the legs. But what I did was just try to lock it in place at the top. So then you have like a little bit of a curve. That's why I built these curved sections up here because then it like forces the cloth to like curve around a little bit. More so at the top than at the bottom. Again, maybe it would be better if you like built down this wall more so that the so that the cloth would curve even more. But I thought that this was just a pretty good, easy thing to do to get enough of the look. It's enough of like a solid look. It's not perfect, like I said, but it works fairly well. And so the way to get the cloth piece like attached is pretty simple. Just remove this piece up here. You can use any bracket. It does like, I don't know, I feel like it's stripped away a little bit of the, of the cloth at the top, but that's fine. And then I just put these studs on the end of Technic bricks on either end. And again, here's just how I built it <clears throat> from another angle. So it's fairly simple. You can really do it yourself. I think if I can do it, anyone else can. You just have to build this wall. And then I had to get creative to like find out that this cloth piece is the one that worked. You can maybe use like the Technic ball end pieces, you know, like the pins with the ball joints at the end. Those might work better here. But I think the reason I didn't use them is because it pulled it too tight to the brick and I needed some more like space in it to be able to have it curve. But yeah, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is build those like angled or those hinge bricks underneath Snoke's throne, which like I said, was really easy. And then you just need to put like the wall that you design on there. This cloth piece is harder to find now because that Praetorian Guard set is retired. It was from the construction figure. But if you can get the cloth piece, I think you can just make it out of parts from your own collection. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Like I said, just like a quick one showing you guys how to modify it if you want. Again, I didn't want to do a step-by-step -step process because there's a lot of room for your own interpretation. Maybe you don't have a cloth piece this big and you want to make it out of red bricks instead. Maybe you want to make my wall better. You know, like if the curved sections went down more, it would probably wrap around Snoke a little bit better. I wanted it fanning out at the bottom to try to get that look of it wrapping around the whole room. But if you want to have cloth around this entire room, you'll have to get like three or four more of those Praetorian Guard cloth pieces, which is hard because they were only in that one construction figure. And I don't know how much it goes for now, but I'm betting it goes for at least 15 to $20. And that would probably be the easiest way to get the cloth piece. I doubt many people are selling it on its own. So again, it really works best if you have it already. But just getting that one piece shouldn't be too hard. And then, like I said, you can pretty much just play around with your wall design and make it however you want, like whatever color you want. 
So yeah, that's it for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with more videos very soon. Bye for now.